Hi guys, welcome back to Keeping Up with Alicia. Mm -hmm. For today's <laughs> for today's video, I'm having a story time like you guys asked, and I'm actually gonna oh yo hi okay. So I actually I just wanna apologize to the person that I'm gonna speak about. You know who you are. I'm not gonna mention any names. I'm really deeply deeply sorry. Uh, I'm deeply, deeply sorry. I just, <laughs> yo, I'm even so nervous. I won't lie. Like, I'm nervous speaking nervous about this story. So but best. I'll, yeah. Hey, let's just get straight into the video since you guys know this over here, you know? No, no, no. Groot, my Groot, my mensa. Groot. Yes, no, it's by on the school. Hi, Alicia's people. <laughs> I won't lie, she looks like she's high on something, you know. Anywho, <laughs> let's get straight into the video. Yo, oh, the way I mean, so you don't Let's get straight into. Let's get straight into the video. Actually, let's get straight into the story time. Actually, I'm new to this, so I'll use my own words. Make it make it about me, you know. Anywho, so how does it title when you don't move here? The most embarrassing moment or what? Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing as the <laughs> okay. most shocking moment. Okay, this is the most shocking moment. It's something that happened when I was in grade nine. I'm not gonna say the school, I'm just gonna say like what happened. And I'm not gonna mention the names of the people. Not the teacher too. But obviously I'll mention this the subject. So fine. I was in grade nine. It was close to November. I think it was November. But it was like the Christmas party the next day. No, I'm lying. <laughs> the Christmas party was the same day. So you know, like my friends and I were prepared. We're like, yeah, we're gonna go to this Christmas party. It's like a hostel Christmas party though. Mind you that. So we're like, yeah, we're gonna go to this Christmas party, one, two, and three. It was actually like compulsory because it was like dinner, you know? So we were like happy, excited, because eh, hey, like that week, I brought high heels. I brought like high heels. I brought all my high heels to school, and not all of it, but like at least like six pairs, so that my friends, if they don't have, then they can like have, like, have something. And I had like extra so that I can also have like a backup. So that I can have backup, you know, backup shoes. Well, anyway, so the week went by. So Thursday came. Hey, I can't remember it was Thursday or Wednesday, but it was one of those two days. So we were in Afrikaans. This was the last period. Or oh, the second last. Actually, it was the last period. I don't remember now. That's the last period. And then, like, you know, <laughs> this friend of mine, he, he or she, was like they were the most funniest they were funny hey guys my english name but they were funny like they were very funny and mm, <laughs> give this person a gender and let's just, let me give this person a name give me a name give me a name you mouth like that was amazing that yeah, chill me my cinema is fine. And like, I was at unisex, it's fine. I was at young kid, it's fine. I don't care. They don't know the gender, must, huh? But, can I remember the mouth of the Okay, so this, this, I'm gonna say it's a guy because cause I have a cousin that's name is Casey. Yeah? So, Casey. Casey, Casey is still <laughs> Oh my word. Anywho, let me tell you what happened. So yeah, Shab, I was telling you we were in Afrikaans. So Casey like wait, no, Casey and I were like, nah ne. We were good. We like we were on good terms. Ne. We were always together. We like walk together to different classes. But you remember in grade nine, you travel as a class. But then it was always me and her or him. <laughs> Oh, me and Casey, me and Casey, Casey and I, and then there was this other girl also, but I can't mention her name. She was also like close with him, yeah, with Casey, and then, but she knows herself, 
and then um <laughs> Afrikaans came so Casey's Casey and I sat next to each other during class like yeah Afrikaans in Afrikaans and then Casey decided like to stand up I can't remember what we were doing in class that day but we were working that's one thing I know obviously we were at school yeah so Casey went to the he went to the to the um Dazman and you know most in class the Dazman's always like in front né? and we were like sitting basically in front but yeah basically in front so there was this girl that sat in front of us and then we were behind her so Casey went to the went to the almost said bathroom Casey went to the the dustbin went to go and shop he sharpened his pencil né? and then I was like hey you know that time I was just sitting né? I wasn't even thinking like there was I don't know what was going through my mind at that time né? And then automatically I was like, hey, you know you are you are young and but yeah. So I was like, yeah, let me pray again. Let me pray in Casey. And then Casey came. He came, he sat back down. But I didn't have any time. I didn't have timing. He sat back down and then nothing happened. Like, you know that 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 prank with the pencil, man? And then when they sit down and then you like poke them, you know? So that was my, my that was my plan. Né? And then Casey sat down, but it flopped the first time, so he didn't feel anything. So I was like bothering him, yo, please go sharpen my pencil, go sharpen my pencil. And then he went. Né? But I just want to keep in mind the pencil I used was not sharp, it was yo. Oh, this clip, wait, let me just show you. Anyway, you see the pencil. This is this is sharp. It was sharper than it was. It was not. It was blunt. Né? It was okay. This pencil is blunt, but the pencil that I used was like it was like sh a bit shorter than this. Né? So yeah. So what happened was he went the second time, né? and then when he came back, it actually worked, but it went the wrong way. It was not supposed to go that way. So I actually, oh, Kanta, please don't laugh. Like this is such a sad story. Like, I'm, I'm very sorry again. But yeah, so he sat down, and then the pencil like poked him. Né? I did not know that I was doing it the wrong way. I thought that it poked him like on his bum, not in his bum. So, so the pencil, <laughs> Kanta, stop it too. So the pencil went up. And it like went into his anal, but I did not know that yet. And so I saw he was like reacting, and I was like, "What's going on?" Ne? I didn't know. I'm gonna say this again. I did not know. No one, nobody even knew in the class. And then people were like just looking at us. I'm like, "What's going on? What's going on? What's going on?" And then he kept on jumping. I'm like, "Oh my word! Oh my word! What's going on?" Maybe he's like just playing or something, fooling around. So I was like, okay, maybe he's just fooling around. Because that's how he used to be. Like, he was always, he was jolly. He was a jolly person. So I thought that he was, like, busy fooling around, you know. And then that's when he stood up. And then he jumped. Like, he was busy jumping. He went to the, to the dustbin. And then that's when I saw the pencil, like, sticking out from his behind. And I was like, oh, my word. Then I ran up to him. I pulled out the pencil. And then when I looked at it, I saw blood. Then I threw it up and I screamed. I was like, oh my word. And then he fainted. No? So, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And it's not even a laughing matter. But, um, uh -oh, don't laugh. And I just said it's not even a laughing matter. Well, well, yeah. And then yeah, that happened years ago. No, but still, yo, uh, uh, I'm, I'm still, I'm still so sorry, yo. I, if I could change, if if I could reverse time, I wouldn't have done that to you. But anyway, and then, yeah, then he just like he started bleeding. I was like so scared. I'm like, yo, the teacher was like, what's going on? Asking me questions. I'm like, yo, ma'am, I don't know. That time you're scared because you're like, yo, the principal. <laughs> you're thinking all the possible things that can happen to you yo i'm like hey i'm going to prison hey i'm going to jail today <laughs> i don't know what am i gonna tell my parents one one two and three i'm scared my poop is ice cold yo, 
like my fat was cold <laughs> although i don't have one i don't know although i don't have one but anyway and then and then um it's just like busy questioning i'm like keeping quiet no i didn't do anything they went to the principal's office they checked on the camera and then they saw like what actually happened then that's when they called me yo and then i went i was like shaking yo i was shaking i thought it was the end of it i thought it was, i thought it was the end of me i got to the principal's office yeah i explained to them the story i told them you know i was very scared to tell y'all the truth and then they said they're like okay i listen i hope you understand um but we're gonna have to suspend you yo that time i'm sitting there like my heart is like melting and then i'm like yo my friends we have a christmas party to attend so i'm like yo can you please at least allow me to go to the christmas party they like to me no we can't you have to you have to leave it immediate effect i'm like yo yeah, okay and then i was like hey, i don't know it's over for me and then that's when yo i guess uh yo sham he's like come out escort you we'll go to the because that was a boarding school man so i looked like i love you know okay i'm not gonna tell you what i love but i love the side <laughs> and the boarding school was like a few miles like away let's say an hour uh, not an hour two hours two hours but if you drive fast it's an hour and 45 minutes but yeah so when we when i got to that room it was the boardroom no? so i sat in the boardroom and then they even closed the blinds and i was just like yo what's gonna happen now because it felt like a movie ne? and i just wanted to apologize to him so bad i just wanted to like hug him like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry casey i'm so sorry and then after after that my parents my parents called they called me they're like what's going on alicia i'm like yo ma i don't like this what happened i stabbed i stabbed my friend in the bum you know <laughs> But <laughs> I said it in Afrikaans. And then she's like, Ow, what is your who can you hey? I'm just like, yo ma, I didn't mean to one, two, and three. Hey. Then I was like, yo, mm -mm, I need to make a plan. Hila, I need to go to the hostel so that I can tell my my friends like I'm going. So I'm like to my mother, like, mommy, like I send a message. I'm like, mommy, um, can you please ask them to say, can I go to the hostel? Because I need to, I wanna go and pack. <clears throat> and then my mother calls them this she asks them and they're like no it's okay she tells them that they are like 10 minutes away but they weren't so i was like okay shop now i can go so i went so i'm like so the so the the dude that was in there the son that was in there with me he is he escorted me out and then as i got to the stairs like leading up to the hostel i was like yo that's where shame follows me Cause right now everyone's looking at me like a bad person tell my big some uh, my other friend had to take it for me and also his no his bags were taken by the by one of the guys in the class that sat behind us his bags were taken by one of them and the paramedics also came by the way just to get him because he was like lung he was flow he was your father's flowing angels he was weak yo so sharp and then i got to hostel and then yeah lovely sham <laughs> yeah then i got to hostel and then um i like my friends were in study they were in study and then i was waiting like i waited for them i was like mm -mm, yo i need to explain to them that i need to tell them the truth the true story because i do not i don't like you know how rumors can spread in like school you know how it can spread so i was like yo i need to tell them the full story so that they know the truth sharp they came out of study they came to me i texted them i told them i'm here i'm in my bedroom then they came and then i'm like yo okay so the look guys um i've been suspended then yeah obviously they were sad i was also sad i was like you know what you, you guys can still like wear my heels and stuff i'll leave everything then you guys can like have fun so that you know so i don't want to ruin i don't want to ruin um day fun yeah day christmas um party because i was leaving so i was like you guys can use my things um i'll think about you you know please just think about me you know and then my parents came i was like yo 
there, I was like, I hear it's over. When I got into the car, and then my parents were like, Alicia, that no, what now? I'm like, yo, I don't know. Yeah, and then that's what happened. Oh no, okay, but then, yeah, actually, that's what happened. That's all you guys need to know. Yeah, but I never got like arrested or anything. I, the, the parents forgave me. He also forgave me, I think, from what, okay, from what we spoke about, he said he forgives me, but I don't know if he actually does, you know? So guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to turn on your post notification button so whenever I, up I upload my next video. Peace.